Well, Chief Meteorologist Mike Everett is joining us now. Take a look at uh, the forecast and uh, I see what you've got behind you there. Hopefully things have calmed down a bit on the East Coast. Yes, they have, but unfortunately, Ian not getting the message. You know, remember this time last night, we were taking a look at its position and what it was up to. It literally has not moved in 24 hours. Take a look at this. Still see a center of circulation. Now, I want to be clear, this is post-tropical. This is just a low pressure system at this point that is bringing rain through New York all the way up towards Boston and still into DC. Again, no flooding, no gusty winds, no drama here, but this thing was supposed to eject about 48 hours ago. The problem is, is there's a ridge. In fact, you can see some of this cloud cover here that's keeping it trapped in there. So it's going to continue to rain itself out, and I guess it's just going to move on when it finally decides to. A little bit of a closer look here, again, showing that nothing particularly bad is happening right now, aside from the fact that it still exists. Once it moves out into the Atlantic there, it'll encounter some cooler water and some wind shear and finally be done. But yeah, we're over you, Ian. It's time for you to move on. Take a look across the West Coast, a whole lot of nothing going on. In fact, ridging it continues to be our story. But as we were marveling at last night, the way that the ridge is situated right now, it is allowing some of that marine layer moisture to move on shore. You may have noticed that this morning it was thick. In fact, that fog was really manifesting itself as drizzle in a lot of spots, including across the Seattle Metro and many portions of Puget Sound. Guess what we're going to do again tonight? You can see all of that blue pushing inland there. So right along the coast, you're seeing it, but even right in Seattle right now, the good news is that is not haze. That is all fog out there. In fact, visibility getting down to between about eight, 10 miles out there, 56 degrees and 93% humidity. Yeah, that is a sure sign that we've got that onshore flow. And again, a lot of that is budding up against the base of the cascade, so I'm perfectly okay with it. Again, it keeps the air moist, especially where we've got those firefighting efforts going on. So as we put the future into motion here, this is tomorrow morning around 930. And the reason I'm showing you that is, well, obviously overnight tonight and into the early morning hours, you're going to see some of that dense cloud, fog, mist, moisture, drizzle, whatever you want to call it, that will continue to push in across the southwest interior and push up into Puget Sound right up to about to the midsection there. Snohomish County looks like it'll be where it stops, but then look at what happens in the afternoon. Some nice clearing. So we do expect it to clear a little bit earlier than it did today. Again, I think forecast models really struggled with that, but what it will do is allow us to warm up slightly higher than we were today. We were in the 60s today. We'll be in the upper 60s and lower 70s on Wednesday. That ridge shifts this weekend. That's going to allow temperatures to warm back into the mid 70s. It looks like the real first taste of fall won't arrive until early next week.